We will start this introduction on how to install the main concept FMPEG plugin on a Windows system. I've already downloaded all required files from the main concept website and unpacked them in a folder on my hard drive. First of all, we need to install the modified version of FFmpeg. Double click the executable file. This modified FFmpeg version must be installed before you can work with the main concept FFmpeg plugins. So it needs to be installed first. In the welcome dialog, click next. Read the license agreement carefully. Click I agree to continue with the installation. In the next dialog, you choose an install location. We recommend to leave the default location. In the following dialog, you can choose a start menu folder where you can directly run the main concept FFmpeg plugin later on. Click install to start the actual install process. That's it. Now you have installed the modified FFmpeg version to your system. Now you have installed the modified FFmpeg version to your system. It's time to install the actual main concept FFmpeg plugin demo version. Double click the setup file. The welcome dialog of the main concept FFmpeg plugin demo versions appears on the screen. Click Next to proceed. You also need to accept the license agreement. You need to install the FFmpeg plugin demo version into the same location as you have previously installed the modified FFmpeg. Click Next. If you want to create a Windows Start menu folder for the FFmpeg plugins, leave the default settings. Click Install to start the actual installation process. You need to install some Microsoft redistributables to your system. Click I agree to the terms and conditions to install these redistributables. That's it. Both the Microsoft redistributables and the actual main concept FMPEG plugin demo version are now installed on your system. Click Finish. You can now go to the Windows Start menu Look for the main concept folder and start the main concept of MPEG plugins directly from here. There you go. That's it. You have now installed the main concept of MPEG plugins to your system. And that's it for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial how to install the main concept of MPEG plugins. Thank you very much and goodbye.